Hey, I think I left off here last time, didn't I? Sort of. We're gonna go to uh, Makanu. Hey everyone, this is GT, another installment of Let's Play. Uh, .ig Volume 3 Redemption has just arrived. Previously, we celebrated my birthday by, wa by having a 30 minute video. And in the process, we beat Taihaku. Um, nearly got killed by Sakaki. Then Endrance betrayed Sakaki because he always remained faithful to Haseo. And then, then we had an Avatar fight, and then Sakaki went fled to the Outer Dungeon, ducked Ovan, and then Ovan basically didn't give him any help and left him to die at the hands of, um, uh, at the hands of the fake Triage and the other two guys. Rather, okay, I'll just call him Azure Kite, Azure Orca, Azure Balma. The Azure Trio. I'm just gonna call him that. That's gonna make it much. That's gonna be much, much easier. And then afterwards, uh, Pi has informed us that she has found Yada. So let's go see where. Uh, let's go see if she really did find Yada. So Yada's doing fine in the real world. Well, he's fine, but... But what? Uh, Master Yada... Master Yada has closed his heart because of the terrible shock of CC Corp's betrayal. What's he doing now? Right now, he's asleep. Having been robbed of his responsibilities to the GU, his pride is in ruins. He can no longer believe in anyone, not even me. I don't know what to say to him. I'm seeing if I can have his GU rights reinstated, at least for now. We're counting on you. You're the only one we can ask to work with CC Corp. Yes, I understand. That's why I'm here. Okay. That's why she's here. Memoir. Yeah, we just gotta leave this to Pi, so let's go out and check our email. I didn't want to have that in the previous video, because it wouldn't have fit. Okay, official forum. Let's see if they talk about the match. Nothing but PK... Ah, uh, Terenji, thanks for saving me so many times. Yeah... Hmm... Hmm... Basically, people are realizing this kind of brought out a lot of people's true natures. We have 42 Crimson versus Battles. We're gonna check that before anything else, because that's the most important thing in this world. Card games. Yeah! Alright, so what cards are we missing? Bordeaux and Darkness. Wait, Bordeaux and Darkness! And hey, a dancing lion. <laughs> but I don't even know how to dance. Well, well, actually, I kind of did. We we learned some, like we learned the salsa back in, like, sophomore junior year of Spanish. I don't particularly remember why. I don't think there's any reason for it actually. It's love! Aww. There's going to be wedding events. Oh yeah, that happens at the end of this game. <laughs> so, um, um, if... If at all possible, I mean, it'll take me a while to... It'll take me a while to make the video. So, there'll be like a few days without any videos. But... 
I will do my best to show off like the wedding event thingy for all the characters. Now there isn't one for like all the characters, obviously, because with the male characters, with the exception of one, it's more like friendship. I say the exceptions of one because you know damn well which one is the exception. If I have to point it out to you, then you haven't been paying attention to this let's play very much at all. Yeah, I'm just doing this the new thing goes away. Okay. Uh, phone, why you go off now? Wait, is someone texting me? Who's texting me? No, it's just Twitter. Okay! Oh, Tayaku said us a thing. Still in the same state? Hardest thing? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's not that I don't acknowledge him. But face it, the only one that can really understand him is you, Pi. And so, I'm leaving Yada up to you. Mm -hmm. Ovan! He got everything from him. So apparently Ovan knows how to control Ida. Dear God, Ovan's like an evil genius. Self-destructed? No, wait. I have to forget what he might or might not be hiding. No way. I won't lose to you. No matter what. Oh. He wants his... Hayaku. I don't understand. What is it you want? Let's head to Lumina Claw. Alright. What's up with this email? Hmm. It's from CC Corp. For some reason, I feel a lot of personal passion in this writing. Wait, what? I didn't even read this. Yeah, it's definitely... That's definitely not a Dear John letter. Canard is famous! We have a bunch of subscribers and viewers and we're even going to get partnered now! By the Game Station! Am I going to get in trouble for saying this? That's nah, screw it. If Canard manages to get any bigger, Death Grunt, he won't be able to handle it. Yeah, no more Pecane in town! Well, now that Sakaki's gone, it looks like there's no more Pecane in town. Now, Syllabus and Gaspar can play the world in safety again. That's just like Matsu. You go for it, man. your student <laughs> is he has he been drinking you know that that kind of when I read that it makes me think that he's been drinking oh and Terry's you're always drinking aren't you all right so we're gonna go to um, the colo at home which I don't think we've been there since did we did we go there and reminisce? Taihaku's calling us. Let's head to Ikolo's at home. Ikolo's at home is in Lumina Claw. Wait, Ikolo? That's what it's called? Like Kamikolo? You know, Kami and Piccolo for years ago, he's like, Kamikolo!
And then Piccolo falls down as if uh, Kagome just said, Sit, boy! They are the gatekeepers. They are holding all the doors. They are guarding all the doors. They are holding all the keys, which means that sooner or later, somebody's going to have to fight them. Taihaku. Come here. Where? This is the Sage Room. The private room of the Sage Palace Emperor. Despite everything that happened in the title match, its outcome still counts. Therefore, this room belongs to you, Haseo. You seem to be awfully cool about all this. I mean, doesn't this bother you even a little bit? I've no need for that. What do you mean, no need? If that's how you feel, then why are you even in the world? Who knows? Tell me, terror of death. When you lose a passion that was too intense, how do you fill the void of powerlessness it leaves behind? Well, I really have no idea. Back then, I didn't even try to fill that hole. All I did was run. Back then? I think I'm better now than I used to be. But I'm still no good when it comes to thinking about voids and feelings of powerlessness and stuff like that. I guess that's why I'm always screwing up, and why everyone is always getting pissed at me. But you know, this is the only way I know how to live my life. Hmm. It appears that you have found a way to fill the empty void. You think I have? I don't know. I can't really tell. Hmm. What? I'll give this to you. You are most worthy of this place. You know... I don't really want the Sage Room. Hmm? See, I'm not multi-talented. I'm having enough trouble pulling Canard along as it is. I see. I suppose that too is a path to follow. Well, I'm going to head home. Haseo. I leave Sirius and Alcade to you. Right. Haseya. What did the Forest of Pain teach you about life? I think I mentioned before, the Forest of Pain, the only two people that ever completed it are Taihaku and Haseo. Again, as I said before, Taihaku got the sword out of it, and Haseo got, I believe, basically, he just jumped right to this form. He went from first form to third form. I believe the third form was a result of him being infected by Ida. A short mail. This is pretty courteous from one of Saku's messages. I wonder if something could have happened. Anyway, let's head to the back streets of Lumina Claw. Alright, so Sealad is going to be a broadsword. 
Except that it's level 140. Which means you won't even be able to use it until post-game. Because I'm just telling you now, you're, by the time you finish the game, you're going to be about level 133. Basically, you deal 25% more damage and everything, and you take 50% and you take 50% less magic damage. It essentially looks like a larger version of Maxwell. That's that's what it is. Um, <clears throat> so when I get to that point, I will uh, sure. uh, I will use the thing. Only shining stars. Are they looking at the star? The stars. Whee! Out of my way, bitches! Out of the way, three time emperor coming through! <laughs> Saku, what did you want to talk about? Well, here's the deal. I'm here to say goodbye. Where'd this come from? You mean you're quitting the world? Yeah, I suppose that's one way of putting it. Yep, this is pretty much it for me. Oh, don't worry. Bo isn't gonna quit, so you won't have to go short on Epitaph users. Yeah, that's not what I'm worried about. I don't get it. Why are you saying you're going to quit all of a sudden? Did something happen? The reason I'm quitting is because my job is done. Your job? Yeah, that's right, my job. Face it, now that you're here, there's no need for me anymore. Wait a minute. Saku, what are you talking about? You see, I... My body only exists here in the world. And my mind only exists inside of Bo. So, you mean you don't exist in the real world? Yeah, pretty much. Wait, so that means... Saku isn't Bo's twin sister? But is really another personality living inside of Bo? Seriously? Bo's really clumsy, right? I mean, he gets picked on because of that. In both the real world and when he's playing online. The reason I was born was because Bo was always crying in his heart. So you see? I was born to protect Bo. But now, you're the one who's protecting Bo, Haseo. And Adelie and Kuhn are both looking out for Bo, too. So, I guess this is the end of the line for me. I'll leave the rest up to you. Hey, Saku! You gotta promise me that you'll take real good care of Bo. I mean, I know he can be such a big crybaby, but he's a really good kid. Wait! Don't just decide this on your own! You've been together all this time, right? You're his big sister, aren't you? Shouldn't you take care of your little brother until the end? But Haseo, I was never supposed to exist! I'm no longer needed! Not needed? Don't be so stupid! But Master N and Bo! As long as they have you, they'll be just fine! And besides, nobody I know would be sorry to see me leave! Nobody! Nobody in the whole world! There's nobody in the whole world who'd be sad if I wasn't here! But that's not true! If you leave, Bo will... I don't care what you say to me! I said I'm going, and I'm going, and that's that! I'm not doing a thing you say, you stupid busybody! Saku!
Saku is leaving. It's not right. What about Bo? I mean, he loves his big sister so much, he'll be crushed. Come on, Saku. All right, so, uh... I don't know if I said it before, but yeah, Saku is revealed to be a is not Bo's sister, but rather a second personality of um, of Bo. Now, this actually starts an interesting little uh, an interesting little chain of emails here. There's now there's going to be like an email chain going back and forth between you and Saku. And basically each time you give the option to either continue the chain or just say, screw it, I don't care. And if you do, then Saku's going to disappear. Um, which means that you won't be able to see her. I'm pretty sure... Uh, now, I haven't done this, but I'm pretty sure that means that instead it's just going to be Bo for the rest of the game. So you never get to talk with Saku, you never get to do... Um, well, you never get to like raise a friendship or do like the wedding event or find out more about her or their personality and all. Um, so point being, I wouldn't recommend driving her away. The whole time I was like, I think like, wow, this is emo, emo, emo. Uh huh. Aww. Yeah, I'll save them. <laughs> Who the hell wrote this? Oh, it's the commentator that wrote this. Oh. <laughs> so, you wrote that email. <laughs> yeah, because doesn't she realize that Bo will be upset if she leaves? Is if, if she's gone, that's... When you said no one would be upset if she was gone, Bo would. Like, it, it... Like, as much as when I was younger, as much as I didn't get along with my brother, I would have dated it. I... I hated seeing him, like, depressed. Like, all, all, all the shit that happened with his... Now, with his now ex-wife, I, I, I... I hated seeing that. she tell Bo that she was leaving for good? It's okay, Bo. I'll do something to fix this. Just give me a little time to talk to Saku and get her to realize what she's doing. Alright. Oh, God. God damn it, Yada. He's like a little kid. You take your eyes off of them for one minute and then bam, they're crawling on the walls and ramming headfirst into your new flat screen TV. Yada's disappeared again? Let's go to Raven's ad -hop. You know, I'm starting to th I'm thinking Yada's a lot like that Queaky Koala character, where he moves very slow, but he moves very rapidly. Now, if you don't understand what that means, imagine, like, if you move your finger at a, like, at a very slow rate, but you do that movement, like, a million, like, a million times in one second. Even though... You're basically putting a bunch of individual movements together. Like if I can only press a button, like if I press a button once, but do it a hundred times in one second, then that's moving just like a slow motion of hitting a button, but doing it very rapidly. I don't even know how I got on this subject. But yeah, um, I'm going to end the video for now. On the next installment, 
Uh, wait, what the hell? I never noticed that up in the upper left. A, red slash London, B, send slash Munich, C, address slash Rome, D, sort slash Stockholm. What the hell? Has that always been there, like, since the first game? <laughs> I don't know what the hell the significance uh, is. Yeah, see, because it says there, it says something, s London, I can't read all that. Yeah, it says it for everything. Um, so that's going to do it on the next installment. We're going to go... Uh, we we gonna go look for Yada. We gonna find you. We gonna find you. So this has been GT. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.